Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I will show you step by step process how you can easily use Timely. Timely is amazing software that you can use. And the first thing that you want to do is go to top right and click start 14 day free trial. Now, if you already created an account, just completely skip this step. I'm going to add a work email. Full name, Marcus Tonelius and password. Start free 14 day trial. Then what's your company's name? Okay. Who will be using Timely? Just me. If more people, then just press to 19 or 20 people or more, click here. Then go next. And now set up your workspace. Click to import clients. If you have import from Toggle, you can click it or you can harvest. Click here. Tell us about the project you're currently working on. And you can add a client name. So let's say uh, client name would be Marcus client. Click next. And here we go. So straight away we are in and I'm going to show you exactly what you can get and how we can work with Timely. So when you would enter Timely, you would see many things here. First, I'm going to show you what you will get from Timely and they will go step by step how we can create projects, invoices, etc. First hours, we will be able to add a new entries here. Then we on the right side, we would see time right today's memories, what was happening. Then we would see projects in which we are going to like create a new project. People. Here you can simply add new users. Then we have reporting here. And we will be able to create any reports. Invoices, same thing. We could create invoice. Now when you go even further, we see getting started with Timely. Install setup memory, log out to your first hour, invite a teammate. We can simply click here and we can manage integrations. Then profile settings here. And you can add a full name, primarily email, time format, date format, time zone. I recommend like checking it out and changing it. Then subscriptions, tags. This is something that you can also optimize and change. And then you can click on edit my profile and it would be right here. So this is in short what you can actually do with Timely. And now let's start with how we can add users. So what do you need to do is to click on users, on people. And right here, you would go to the right new user. And now you would add basic info. What is the name person called? Marcus user email like this then you see the access level here if it's going to be admin manager or employee capacity rates capacity set the will be and default billable array for this person okay and then what you need to do is to choose a product like marcus client here and any type, if it's a project rate, individual rate, non billable project. And we see right here. And then what you have to do, you can also assign him to a team. Go to the right, click invite person. Here we go. So this is how we can get, um, like invite someone. And let's go for the next thing. And that's how we can actually add a project. Project right here you would see that we got activities and I can go next to the new project. We're going to see manage clients, click on it first and I can add a new client right here. Client name, Marcus client two. create client. Okay. And when we have the clients, I can go on the top, right? Click new project. And project name, let's say it's going to be YouTube channel. What you can do on a project, you can simply change color. I have a green here. I can choose it to, let's say red. Let's 
Like it's completely up to you. Or this one here, click save. Then I can choose between the clients. So let's say I'm going to choose uh, the new one that I created. Of course, you can add a new client by typing. And you can require node when logging to project. You can also add multiple people here. Look at this. And you can add hourly rates. So same for everyone. You can have individual rates or same for everyone. Let's say this is going to be 25 euro per hour. Of course, if you can have individual rates and I'm going to have multiple people, I can change those billable rates here. Budget, let's say I'm going to have budget here and you have options to have time budget or money budget. So time budget can be like 20 hours. Budget, budget amount can be 20 or I can have money for 250 so I can only work for what 10 hours yeah on this project an interval monthly weekly so this is how you can do it and now you're gonna see the tags so tags describe the hours users log to your project you can have all tags selected task and you can create a new list Or let's say tasks. That's completely up to up to if you allow it or no. Then when you have it, let's click on the top right, create a project. Voila, here we have our own new project. And now the question is how we can actually lock project. So let's go to hours. And here. I gotta see the day, week, month. What I can simply do is today, let's say I'm going to click new entry. What did you work on? YouTube SEO, select a project. See this YouTube channel on Marcus client too. And now choose tags here. Let's say I'm going to have tags on marketing. Locked time, let's say it's going to be five hours. I can also set it up from where it, from what time it was. I can start a timer also. Look at this. I can start easily the timer and I can plan the time. So that's what we can do. And then click submit. See, and we've got 125 euro easy as that so right now i can add a new entry and do it again and as you can see when we click on a month we see right here but what you can do is let's say that i started using 20th but i did some work in 19th also so i'm going to to 19 to youtube channel what did you work on youtube video choose a tag we can go administrative lock time three hours okay wait a second three hours and we can have also like memories here and you can connect multiple memories like multiple integrations come uh, like with your timely app if you want to and you can again add a from to timer plan time click submit 75 euro of course, you can connect with other applications here, right? Capture the time you spend on each email each day. Asana. You get multiple options that you can connect it with. So that's how we do it. And you need to also like download it and install it. I'm not going to use the memory here. I don't think that's necessary. If you want to, you can have it. I'm not going to reinstall it and show it in the video, but if you want me to, I can show you how you can do it. So, but it's not really like necessary. And when we have it, the last thing that I want to show you is how you can simply click on invoices and create an invoice. Go to the top right, click new invoice. Here, project to invoice. I can have any project as a Marcus client. Let's click on that. 
day trade from 18 to Saturday. Line items, text as line people, let's say, create. And we see right here. So we got a 125 and 75. What I can do is to view invoice. And this is how we do it. And you need to like integrate a with it QuickBooks. And when you're going to connect it to QuickBooks, you can easily then just like send it to your clients, etc. So this is pretty much it how we can use Timely app. It's pretty straightforward. The last thing that I'm going to show you is how we can easily create reports. And that will be pretty much it. If you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. <clears throat> I'm really happy to help you. And yeah, so the first thing that you want to do is you can click on timesheets and see the details or you can simply be here and click on a new report on the top right. And you would see reports here as a build total for you can switch between users, between projects and I can see clearly here that I can create a report. Name of the report would be my work. Top right, create a report and export as PDF. And look at this. So this is pretty much it how we do it. And if you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in comments. I'm really happy to help you. And yeah, thank you very much and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.